don't, I don't think that's a good idea at all. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's Saturday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Calamity Edition. Thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If you're a returning uh, victim, wow, thank you. Uh, that's astonishing. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool quality crap like a phone case or a duvet cover or a shower curtain, uh, the shop is down there somewhere. Most importantly, if you want to join us on Tuesday, the talk show, or Saturday, next Saturday, uh, for a one-shot, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, we will get you on the show, give you about two hours of yeah, maybe fun, maybe laughs, eh, maybe none of the above, but it's hard to say. Uh, shout out to our in-house dice maker, Pirate Dog Dice. If you want some custom dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter, uh, they will hook you up. Maybe. Hard to say. Depends on if you're an asshole or not. Uh, don't forget, this show is for mature audiences only, even though we are not, but that goes without saying. Also, our other sponsor, Adventure Sense. If your game stinks, pick up some Adventure Sense, uh, oddfishgames.com, also the maker of the Shine system. So if you want to learn to write or learn to write better or more good, uh, check out Shine Gooder. system. Gooder. Good, I, goodest, goodest, I think is what it is. Uh, but that's it. Folks, let's uh, go ahead and introduce you to the people that are going to make tonight entertaining. We will start up in the top on my screen with Rob. Rob, who are you? Who do you play? Hey, I'm Rob, and you can find me at Cthulhu Rob on the Things, longtime dungeon master since 1978. Um, and. Uh, Long time since I was a player until Frank drug me over here. So I wasn't kicking and screaming. Here I am. I am Dave, your friendly neighborhood barbarian. Currently wearing pants, I assume. Currently wearing pants. We'll see what happens. Yeah, the, the night is young. <laughs> uh, next up is Scott. Scott, same question, different answers. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm playing um, Rakir. Uh, he is a monk. <coughs> Um, I've been, I guess, a DM since well, Red, for, you know, basic Red Box, maybe 81, 82, some, something along those lines. Uh, and then uh, had a pretty good spell through, uh, through high school and then dropped it for a long time and then just kind of came back in the past five years with a whole lot of other people uh, and um, I'm still kind of running half and half. And I'm playing, like I said earlier, and then I got on the sidetrack on just talking about myself, which I need to stop because if not, then I'll just <laughs> sit here for the next several hours. You, you, you could go on with a suppository comment. Yeah, so I think yeah, that was fun. yeah. Yeah, I really didn't know about like the thin anal walls. That was just like really, really. <laughs> that's true, you know, man. That's that's I, I've heard about that, but that, you know, that's, that is the best entry point for alcohol. Yeah. So, uh, right up segue down. to Jesse, who's never full of shit. Uh, no, never. It's never ever. My skin tone. Um, I am Jesse. You can find me on the uh, different platforms uh, at JR Uh I am playing Azari, the Leonin Ranger. That's it. <laughs> the producer's Please favorite. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Last but certainly not character. least, not Dave, David. Yes, David. Yes, tonight I will be playing Ingve, the Circle of the Shepherd Druid. Um, I'm usually here on uh, on BTR on Tuesdays, whenever they can't get somebody to fill in. So. <laughs> Uh, I'm there. I'm part of this campaign and also the Cacophony show that's on every other Thursday. So, and I've been a hobo for over a year now. Wow. It's amazing. Time, time flies when you're an uh, indentured servant on this show. Right, right. Or having fun. So, or having fun. In case, yeah, you, know, you got nothing better to do. Uh, <laughs> folks, as I said, this is the Calamity Campaign. These guys are uh, late Stone Age, early Bronze Age. Uh, last time, which has been about a month ago, they discovered coinage, uh, something that was unfamiliar to most of them as they grew up in a small secluded area known as Ba. These guys started off their careers on a hunt, met some friends, met some not so friends, and met Doff, who is currently adventuring with them. Last time we were all together, 
not with the B side, but with the A side, these guys, uh, they discovered Bucky Buckley, a talking gopher who led them into the long lost warrens of an old tomb, uh, encompassing most of the scenario time. Uh, because these guys thought it would be easy for some reason they've all played with me i'm not sure why they thought it was easy they are attempting to recover lost friends neighbors and loved ones uh as there was a small problem at a celebration where kidnappers brigands outlaws if you will took over half the population and went east uh these guys were hot on their trail when i mean who's not going to stop for a talking gopher I mean, that's not something you see every day. Uh, and uh, they found coins, much to Rakir's puzzlement. Uh, Dave is from a region that handles currency. So Dave, the barbarian, clearly the smartest one of the group, explained economics. <laughs> Ooh, economics. Uh, we rejoin them as Buckley has disappeared under unusual circumstances and they have pillaged the old tomb. Gentlemen, uh, do you want to he keep heading east? You've lost about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah, keep heading east. We'll keep tracking east. Fair enough. Uh, you guys are going to travel about another two hours uh, and as the sun begins to set in the east, uh, now everything coming at you is silhouetted. Off in the distance, uh, you can smell a fetid swamp, uh, which is strange because Ba Lake is to your right, and it doesn't mm. generally smell. Uh, but certainly, fens, a swamp, uh, decaying material is definitely ahead. Also on the horizon, you see a structure that you aren't quite familiar with. Uh, Azari and Dave... Why don't you go ahead and roll Arcana checks? That's a natural 20. So um, 18. <laughs> the guy's smartest one. That's a 18, which makes it 19. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe is already smarter. <laughs> yes, oh, but wow. Much. Hey, you ought to play on the Thursday show. <laughs> I, I think you just beat their entire tallied set of roles. Uh, you two gentlemen, uh, one being from the west, one being from the east, uh, you guys are familiar with what is ahead. Uh, however, you notice that this stone structure known as a bridge uh, has movement on it. Everybody roll perception to see if you hear screaming. Spoiler alert, there's screaming. That's my second natural 20 and that's perception you said? Yep. Um, yeah, so that's um, 25. 19. Same for Ingvate, 19. Uh, everybody but Rock here, and uh, I better roll for Doff. Uh, 23. Oh, Doff got a natural one. Doff is scratching his ass. Uh, Doff and Rock here, as Rock here watches Doff scratch his ass, do not to hear Make the sure that he's not him. having big vampire claws coming out of his. That, his that is true, because no. we aren't sure if he is now undead or going to be undead. Uh, he is. Dave, Azari, and Ingve, there is screaming, and some of the screaming sounds familiar, especially to Dave. Uh, it's going to take a full on run to get up there and not see silhouettes and figure out what the hell's going on. Let's move. Ah! Uh, anybody want to tell Rock here as he. <laughs> Watches Duff. Rock here. Stop staring at Duff's ass. We're on the hunt. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, everybody takes off. Uh, who's got the fastest speed? Any 40s in the group? Uh, Ingve can. <laughs> 35. He'd, he'd have to walk shape. Natural 40. Walking speed of 40. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm a monk, so yeah, I actually can get out there pretty quick. 
the monk kicks it into high gear and starts leading it. You can hear Baywatch in the background. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, that was a different show. Uh, as, you, as you guys get closer, you notice, uh, yeah, I'll say elderly, older people uh, dressed in clothing that is similar to Ba. Uh, four scaly serpent-like creatures have come up from uh, a waterway. It's kind of an estuary, it, if you aren't from the South, uh, look it up. Uh, but there's a, <laughs> what Dave and Azari know as a bridge uh, made of stone uh, slabs, very long stone slabs. Uh, it's pitted. Uh, there are a lot of people up there and the closer you get, the more you realize, hey, these are some of the people from Ba. The four scaly creatures you've never seen before in your entire life. They are humanoid in appearance, uh, about five and a half, six feet tall, carrying spears and javelins. Uh, they have large lizard heads and are dressed in feathers and shells. Uh, Rakir, you are going to be in the lead due to your natural speed. What do you want to do? Um do they do they look to be aggressive or do they look to be aggressors towards these people of Ba or do I would I yeah. two two and two are coming up uh but the people on the stone structure uh are not retreating for some reason they're just pointing and screaming they're just pointing and screaming well I'm gonna um run forward and say um um I don't know guys. yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, um, fear not. We are. We've been <clears throat> sent to find you, and we're going to kill these awful things. And I'm going to run forward and uh, um, prepare to hit them with my uh, with my quarter staff. Be twelve against me. If I roll higher, I will hear you. If you roll higher, I will not. How about huck and javelins? Five. Nine. I hear you. And the four creatures with scaled faces turn around. For the javelin question, everybody roll initiative at this point. That's a uh, twenty. Decent. Dirty. Five. Net twenty. Aha. Seventeen. Uh, everybody but Rock here goes in the lead before me. Uh, Dave, uh, you had the dirty 20. Yep, Ingve, natural 20. Go ahead. Uh, Yngwie, you are not in melee range at this moment. No, no, but I am gonna take my movement up to <coughs> uh 30 feet and I'm gonna produce flame and hurl uh a flame, uh, a ball of flame towards one of them. Azari and Dave probably should have told him what a bridge does. Okay, throw the flame. You said it. <laughs> hey, hey, you said it was slabs <laughs> of stone. So, from what you see, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whoops. So, all right. I guess roll to hit. Uh, does a fourteen hit? Uh, no, it does not. Your flame falls short. Uh, good news is the grass is moist, so it does not catch on fire. Got it. Uh, Dave the Barbarian. Yep, yep. Javelin. Uh, does a 14... Oh, actually, sorry. Uh, plus 6. Does a 20 hit? 20. 15 is your magic number tonight. Okie doke. For these uh, That's uh, 6 plus 4 points. 10 points piercing damage. Stunk. 2. Three, four, you said six. I'm sorry, uh, six, six, ten points, points of piercing ten points. damage. My bad. Uh, Azari, 17. One. Okay, I will pull out the longbow and fire. Oh, uh, boy. Sorry, Rick, here. <laughs> it's nice <laughs> knowing you. <laughs> it's only your butt. It's okay. It's a 22 to hit. Oh. And That's not Rick, here's butt. That is 10 points of piercing damage to the scaly creature. Uh, same one as Dave or the one that's going to be throwing, uh, chucking javelins at you? The one that's going to be chucking javelins at me. 
10 is number three. Fair enough. Uh, Rakir, you and Dolph both got fives. Uh, the lizard creatures, not happy with being pierced by your missile weapons, are going to throw theirs at each one of you. So Dave, plus four. Uh, eight plus four is 12. Rakir, uh, 15 plus four. That's a 19, but hang on. Odd you, even Doff. Even Doff is going to take one. Uh, Azari, uh, 15 plus four, 19. And Ingve, 18 plus four is 22. I'm going to use a murder hobo die. Ah. Ooh, guess what, boys and girls? That's a six. So eight mm -hmm. hit points of damage as they hit their mark. That uh, Rakir and Doth uh, in the round. What's our range right now? Uh, you uh, can close and engage if you want. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm not going to close. Uh, I'm going to stay within dart range. I just want to get to dart range, which is about, I think, twenty feet. So, You're there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm you, gonna... you led the pack, so you could be in melee. Everybody can be in melee next round if they want. The lizard okay. folk will close. Yeah. So I'll. I'll throw a. Uh, <coughs> a. I'll throw a dart at the one closest to me. Fair enough. And that's going to be a nine. That no. What? Sorry, that was a D twelve, not a D twenty. If we're closing, Dave sh shifting to battle axe and shield. Uh, yeah, no, that's going to be a that's a fourteen, as you said. That doesn't do it. Just shy, it rings off their scale. Uh, your associate, Doff, uh, I think he's got a javelin. He is going to throw it on the run. He's going to hit because that's a sixteen. Uh, he is going to go after one, three, four. He's going after three Azari's target. Uh, and he got five hit points. So Azari's is down 15. Start of round two, everybody roll perception. Mm, not good this time. Eight. 16. Uh, that's, a, that's a dirty three. <clears throat> uh, so Azari, Dave, and Doff, you notice... Or more creatures behind uh, your fellow Baarians. <laughs> what? What Ba'arians. would you call them? Azari turns around and calls it a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hence, you three know why there is no retreat possible. So, starting with Ingve, who does not know this and his natural 20, you're up. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to wild shape. So Ingve uh, start, starts his movement and he said, and he tries to say it loud enough, mind the panther and then wild shapes into a panther. And Dave says, kitty. Uh. Mind the what? <laughs> it's like, here what? I thought it was mind the gap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to enter uh, combat? As uh, a I'm going to try to stealth into combat. Yeah. There's high grasses, right? Not at the edge of the bridge. <laughs> okay, I didn't think and, I was that close and yet. You're seeing silhouette. They're seeing you guys. Okay, so and you're yelling, "Mind the, the panther!" <laughs> yeah. Okay. Why not? Hey, hey guys, guys there, there, there's, there's a panther, a panther right there. there. <laughs> you might as well set off a box of fireworks if you want to try your stealth roll. <laughs> yeah, might as well. Uh, then, uh, then I'm going to use the movement to engage. So. You, you can engage this round. Okay. All right. With that, <coughs> uh, the Panther's going to attack the nearest one. Uh, let's see. Uh, he gets uh, a bite and a claw. Um, let's see. Let's see which one's hit. Sorry about that. Uh, that's why you use real dice. That's why you use real dice. No, I needed the modifiers. That's why I'm, I'm pulling it up on DMP. I had it up. Um, let's see. So 19 hits, obviously. Okay. And that's going to be the claw. And I'm going to roll again for the bite. Uh, 
Uh, uh, the bite is an 18. To hit. Both hit. Yeah, okay. Are you going after the one that was uh, flinging shit at you? Yes. Okay. Yes. Number four. Okay. That's a number four. Uh, let's see. Wait, I'm going to need another one of those. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Um, 1d6 plus 2. Uh, 6 plus 2, 8 uh, for the claw. Mm -hmm. And let's see, the, the bite is a d4 plus. Yeah, these guys will not be immune to anything, so no worries on the modifiers. Uh, 6 for the the bike. 14. Dirty 20, Dave, as you have flung your javelin, you are now equipped with your shield and your battle uh, axe. What's the name of it? Oh, no, I'm not. I have, Chattelbane's still on my back. I can't uh, use her with the shield, so I just have a battle axe in my hand. Uh, what's and the her shield, name? Chattelbane. <laughs> the battle axe? Oh, the battle axe is named oh, Fred. Battle the, axe. Other the, the other one's named Steve. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm using Fred, right hand, shield, left hand, and on the way there, I'm going to both become reckless and rage. Wow. Wow. <laughs> means I roll an advantage, but so do they. But that's Dave. That's, um, Dave. that's such a Dave thing. And Dave, Dave, so Dave will, Dave. approaching the bridge, Dave is going to scream, Everybody, get down! And attack okay. the first lizard man he can get to. Get prone so you're easier to hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are, are the lizard men retarded? <laughs> say nineteen to hit. Uh, I'm sorry. The phrase is retard. Okay, retard. Retard. and and fourteen points of slashing damage. Uh, that is enough to lop off his head. Ooh, nice. Covered in next! blood. Uh, <laughs> next up is the seventeen. Azari. Uh, I'll fire. One more shot at the one that uh, had attacked me. Yeah, because it's going to go out. They've only got eyes for off. me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a 20 to hit. And another seven points of piercing damage. Seven, you said? Yes. Uh, that takes him out uh, with one through the throat. Nice. Nice. Uh, Doff turns and scowls a little bit because Doff's kind of a dick that way. Uh, I have one on Rakir and one on Ingve. So on Rakir, uh, 17 plus four, uh, 14 on Ingve though. Uh, 14 on Ingve, uh, yeah, 14 will hit. Oh, that's right. You're a panther. I'm a panther, so AC is 12. Okay. Uh, a different murder hobo die. Ah, four damage this time. Four. He's, he's still going as panther. So Rak Rakir and Ingve take four. Rakir and Doff, you guys are up. Okay. I will um, use my flurry of blows uh, to... Yeah. Um, you might want to mute your mic. <laughs> yeah, so what I'll do is I'll uh, use Flurry of Bros. After taking action, I can spend a key point to make two unarmed strikes as a bonus action. So I'll, on the one that, uh, that, that's targeting me, I'll uh, strike with my quarter staff and then uh, try to have uh, two uh, roundhouse kicks. Now, real quick, before you see if you hit, Odd, Doff's going to move to your target even he will move to Ingves. <coughs> Natural one. So if you kill him, Dolph's going to scowl at you next. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's where the quarter staff. And that is a 15 plus five. That's a 20. So murder hobo die. Nice. Ah, and I do that's That's six plus three equals nine. Nine hit points of damage. Okay, and now your double kick. The the two double kicks. That's an unarmed strike. That's a fourteen. That's a miss. Your and that's rocket. A, that's a twenty. That's going to be a hit, but it's one d four plus three on damage. So that's one uh, plus three equals four. Four more hit points of bludgeoning damage. 
Good news, yours is still alive, and your close friend and buddy is going to stab at him. Ooh, 15. Another big hit. Uh, he is just plumping ass for you, not against you. Uh, six plus two, eight. Uh, things on its last leg. Top of round three, Ingve and Rakir. Go ahead and roll perception checks. That was better that time. That's a 22. Uh, nine for Ingve. Uh, Ingve, you still don't see it because you're a Panther and it is irrelevant. Rakir, you notice the reason they are not retreating is because they are under attack and four citizens. <laughs> what? On the bridge. Round three, Dave. Uh, you have a clear path up and over this bridge thingy. I can get to the ones that are attacking the citizens? Next round, you can. Mm. Melee, no. Okay. Um, can I get to the one that hit Ingve? Uh, yeah, you can all pile on. I, I'll pivot and smack that one. <laughs> uh, still reckless. Uh, 19 and 4 plus 6 is 10 points of uh, slashing damage. Uh, roll a d20 straight up because you're going to move through a sea of 13. Food. Uh, deftly moving, like dirty dancing, you move past Rakir, Doff, and Azari, uh, and bury your axe into this creature killing, uh, Ingo. Fun! You can, you can pet the kitty. Uh, <laughs> kitty. You know what? I screwed that up because Ingve should have started that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So, go ahead, Ingve. Okay. Uh, hey, Ingve's... Uh, bite and claw. Uh, let's see, a eight that miss, and a uh, yeah, a nine. They both miss. Both miss. Uh, Azari, uh, everything's fallen. Rakir and Doff have one left on it, and it is really teetering. Uh, you, since you noticed uh, beforehand, uh, you also see four of your Baarians uh, fall either off or down because this is a flat bridge okay and there's still bad guys on the back behind them mm -hmm. i'm gonna oh. fire my arrow at the guys in the back the bad guys in the back that's a 22 to hit again Ooh. like a sidewinder missile you miss the barbarians <laughs> nine points of piercing damage I'll give you number three again. Fair enough. Uh, Rock here. Uh, odd even, you and Duff. Odd, it's going to go after you. Uh, uh, not with that roll, it's not. Uh, let's see how the other ones are doing on the bridge. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> uh, those paying attention see... One more fall. Uh, Rakir, uh, D20 against me. 18. 19. You'll get the killing stroke if you can kill it. It's got one hit point left. Okay, so I have to, uh, with my quarter staff, that's an 18 plus 5 is 23. Right through its eyeball. Doff looks at you. Well done. And charges over the bridge. Screaming okay. and yelling, get out of the way, get out of the way. Uh, top of the round. Uh, Dave, it's going to take you a full round of running to get there. Ingve, full round. Azari is shooting. Uh, Doff will take a full round. And Rakir, if you want to run through the crowd, you can do a dex check. And if you're successful, I'll let you be in melee because you got 40s. Okay, I will I will attempt to, to do that. So I'll give a dex check. That is a 16 plus whatever my dex Easy. modifier is. Yeah. Easy peasy. Uh, you dart in and out of the uh, crowd like they're orange cones. And you find yourself facing off alone with four scaly creatures. Scaly creatures. 
And Dave. Okay. And, yeah. and Dave. And Dave. D do we need to roll re-roll initiative or do I have a chance to attack? Nope. nope. Uh, keeping okay. the same initiative. So uh, okay. I will let, well, actually, you haven't gone yet. So Azari needs to go. Okay. Actually, Dave needs to go. Oh. <laughs> I am really fucking this up tonight. What about Ingve? <laughs> oh, Ingve's not there. Oh. He's not. Well, Ingve, uh, first off, I got to know what you guys are doing because Azari is going to be the only one that can still hit this thing. Yeah, Azari I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna move right up um, to their face. Regardless, I'm using my movement to get yeah. within twenty feet to pounce. So. so next round, you guys will be there. Uh, Azari, you're up. You can uh, uh, do your shit. Okay. Your stuff. Yeah. If nothing else. Down. Dave will stand there and scream at them and beat Not his axe against the shield. Nice. <laughs> damage. Damage modifier. <clears throat> That is six, five, ten points of damage. Ouch. But alive. Damn you. Uh, uh, okay, here is how we're going to do this. Because uh, my initiative is still higher than Rakir and Doff. Uh, odd, I'm going to go after the PC. Even, I'm going after one of those easy slugs. So for Rakir... I'm going after you, even. Uh, Azari. Oh, Azari, I can't reach, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> so, Rakir, I will go after you with a two. Uh, so, you and Doff are up. Doff is going to close distance. Okay. So, it's you. Off. Doff's running. Uh, you're already up there. So All right, then okay. I'm going to. Uh, I'm not going to use a flurry of blows. I'm just going to. Uh, I'm just going to use a quarter staff to the one that uh, that did go after me. Okay. Okay. That is a sixteen plus five is a twenty-one. That hits. One d six. That ugh. Okay, that's a one plus three. Four hit points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. This round. Mm. Fair enough. Another one bites the dust. Right. Top of the order, nat 20, Ingve as a panther or a uh, cougar. I'm going to launch and pounce, so I have to... Please be one. Ahead. Please be one. Please be one. <laughs> it's going to be a pounce and a bite. He's going to have to do a DC uh, strength check. So 14 to pounce. AC 15 to hit him. Oh, okay. Uh, the the Bite 14, so no, that doesn't hit either. You pounce, snap at his junk, and miss. Nothing but teeth. Uh, Dave, uh, give me a dex check since you're reckless. That 20. God damn it. Nobody goes into the <laughs> drink. Uh, okay, Dave, go ahead and uh, attack. Uh, okay, I'll attack. So right hoping you'd week. knock some uh, bar <laughs> residents into the Oh, drink. that's another natural 20. Ah, Holy crap. Yeah, he's, he's been rolling ass. I mean, he's and just been six, rolling really uh, eight, well. 14, and six is uh, 20 points of uh, slashing damage. Oh. Get some! Now you're still reckless, right? Yep. They get advantage you... against me. Okay, Tamlin, you're about to get some. AC <laughs> 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 uh, 17. Tail, folks. Uh, 17. At advantage. At advantage. Azari, you're up. Okay. Why do you think I kept the shield? No, uh, not a miss. That's a 14. That, that arrow will miss. Swing and a miss. Rings off. Uh, my turn. Let's see. Dave's there. Rakir's there. Doff's there. Ingve's there. Uh, Azari, yours is going to go after Doff. Dave. Uh, you know what? Fight me. I only had to roll one die because that's a nat 20. <laughs> well, Dave was screaming, fight me, so... Uh, uh, Rakir, uh, that's only an eight, so 12. Uh, Daw, three, that's a seven. And Ingve, seven plus four is 11. So uh, let's go to the murder hobo die. Boom! Uh, six plus two is eight. Uh, I shall hit you, and I shall hit you well. Uh, Rakir and Dave. Or I'm sorry, Rakir and Dolph. Uh oh. 
Oh, Doff. <laughs> You've been doing so well, and now you fail. Uh, Rock here, go ahead. Uh, I'll have to figure out who I'm going to hit. Okay. <coughs> I, he's Rock here is going to use his quarter staff again to bash the one in front of him. That's 11 plus 5 is a 16 hit. Yep. Okay. Uh, my murder hobo die right here. That is a 3 plus 3. is a 6 hit points of bludgeoning damage. Fair enough. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. One is Dave. Two is Rock here. Dave number one. Three is Doff. Four is Ingve. Five is he throws his weapon in the drink. Six is he kills a fellow Bavarian. Oh, no. <laughs> uh oh. No, Doff. <laughs> no. Oh, Doff. Doff beheads a, a bar resident. <laughs> Oh, oh, Doff. Oh, I can't. Doff fix, works for enemy. I can't you know what? fix that. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to roll a 20, okay? Because somebody you guys know and love is in this group. Oh, shit. If it's a one, that's who Doff killed. Oh. Doff might die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> top of the wow. order, Ingve. Okay. Oh. A 19 and a nat 20 to hit. Yep. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see where the bite will have that as the net 20. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got to roll a d4. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, apparently they didn't kill anybody this round because Doff's doing that job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, damage, damage modifier for, yep. for the bite. Okay, uh, let's see. So <laughs> that would be... Uh, 10 points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. And on the claw, uh, that is uh, five points of slashing damage. Good deal. Uh, Dave, uh, gauntlet picked up, challenge accepted, uh, going toe to toe with this dude who doesn't look all that great. <coughs> but good enough to hit your um, he ass. Uh, you that's cut that's your fine. belt off. Uh, 17. <laughs> Uh, that hit. Does hit. He'll be um, dead because he has That's only hit. two plus eight. So he plus is dead. You dead. gave him uh, the old carotid chop. Uh, Azari, uh, last Maybe shot I make wasn't new very belt. good. Well, you, these are lizard folks. So. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, Azari. Make that up. That's, yep, that is a 23 to hit. And. Blue, blue. Eight points of piercing damage. One in the chest, one in the eye. Uh, Azari, your target falls uh, as you, <laughs> as, as Doff leaning over and killing Gertrude, uh, gave you a clear angle to get, the, get uh, this guy. I'll Please. start making my way up melee wise. <laughs> <laughs> Since Doff apparently is killing our own people. Two lizard folk left. One on Rakir, one on Ingve. On Rakir. One alive. Uh, a deuce, so that ain't going to hit you. Nope. Uh, and an eight, that is not going to hit Ingve unless a 12 gets him. Uh uh. Nope. Uh, Rakir, uh, you may go. I'm going to roll to see who Doff's going after this time. Okay. Uh, yes. He's not going after yours. He's going after Ingve's. So. Okay. Go. So I'm going to, again, try with the, with the quarter staff. <laughs> mm -hmm. that, oh, I'm rolling good now, finally. 18 plus 5 is 23. And that's going to be 3 plus 3. Six more points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. You're chopping away at him. Uh, Ingve, Holy Shirley. Ingve, or not Ingve, Dolph. Oops, sorry. The 19, this time he freaking connects. <coughs> uh, uh, not, not that great. Uh, but at least he hit the right fucking target. Uh, new round, all of the citizens are now running past you uh, to get the hell out of Dodge, especially since Dolph is on a murderous rampage. Ingve as a panther, which the people don't know that don't you know. are a freaking panther. No idea. 
They think you're there to sell them insulation. Oh, okay. You got to be old <laughs> to get that joke. Yeah. Yeah. And pink. And pink, right. Oh, but, man. Hey, you're up. All right. So, uh, Inve uh, rolls to attack, uh, bite and claw. Uh, uh, let's see, a uh, 18 to hit, and a, um, the, the claw misses. Uh, that was only a 14. Okay. So, let's see. The, the bite is uh, six points total. Got it. Dirty 20, Dave. Next to you is Rakir, uh, whose lizard boat that you don't know what it is, uh, is still reasonably healthy. Not for long. Uh, hit me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tablet. Uh, 15 <laughs> baby, baby, uh, is the target time. number. I've got that. And it. nine points of slashing. <laughs> Uh, that is enough to finish Rakir's off. Uh, Azari is Dave's not good are, at keeping things alive. Uh, Azari, as you are weaving in and out of the crowd instead of a dex check, give me a percentage or a perception check. I was about to say, <laughs> remember where Percentus got us last time? <laughs> uh, 24. <clears throat> An incoming message. Uh, you're what are you 35? Should, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you gotta wait or you gotta use your longbow. I'll fire, um, I'll try and fire it like <clears throat> at his knee. I'm not trying to kill him, I'm pretty much trying to just put him down. Sure, not uh, no death, just uh, non lethal damage, right? As, as best a, as I can with, with a an bow. arrow, <laughs> yeah. I'll shoot him in the knee instead of uh. He'll never have an adventuring career. Exactly. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> That's a 19 to hit. Mm -hmm. And, ooh, nice. 10 points of piercing damage. Ah, uh, you went a little high. <laughs> <laughs> and not even nicked it. You tore the femoral artery right the hell out of him. <laughs> You're going to have one round to try and question him. Uh, that comes to me. Everybody roll perception. Uh, 17 plus 3 is 20. Dirty. Uh, 13. 24 again. Uh, Azari and Dave, over to the left, in the estuary, you see three lizard folk, is what they are, uh, going down underwater. Hmm. <clears throat> retreating uh i am bleeding out that leads us to rock here and doff let me see if doff's ready to kill this fucker uh shall we go higher or lower that doff wants to kill this guy higher it is higher yeah uh 15 oh <laughs> doff kicks the dead Baarian out of the way <laughs> and starts to move on it. Uh, Rakir, you tied with him. What do you want to do? Um, we're, we're trying to keep someone alive, right? If possible, yes. Okay. Um, if I have a chance to interdict with <clears throat> Dolph's blow, then I'm going to try to interdict Dolph's blow using my quarterstaff, not my body, because I'm not you know, I'll try to block his blow with my with my quarter staff. What do I need to roll for that? Strength, dex. Mate? dex, strength. Okay, dex. I, I give you a dex to see if you aim correctly. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that one. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, with a fifteen I, on I the die roll. I rolled a one. Uh, yeah. As Rakir pushes his I'd axe down harder, sped it up a little bit. <laughs> and as you swung, you added your own strike to him. You cuts <laughs> through the lizard folk. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> thinking that you were attempting to intercede. We uh, have done it. <laughs> uh, 
Now we have to look at the dead. I'm going to uh, fire an arrow at Doff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's a 17 to hit. Oh, that hits him. Okay. Uh, for five points of damage. And I will, as I'm walking up and I still have my bow drawn, I'll look at Doff and I will, I will look at him, uh, say, you've killed one of our own people in your reckless and foolish ways. That's Fair the enough. last time. His reaction. Thank you, my friend, but I already put him down. <laughs> um, Dave attacks Doff. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> uh, you know what, Dave? Uh, roll a d20 against me. Ooh, 18. You beat me. Uh, you hear a familiar I voice was. yell out, Dave, uh, as you raise your axe. Oh, no. It is. I'm, I'm no longer enraged. Uh, Rakir and Ingve. Ingve is still a panther. Uh, what it's do dang- you want to do? Uh, I, the just, danger I, just, is- I just sent you a message there, Frank. Got it. If the danger is gone, Ingve is going to... Uh, use a bonus action to shift back. Uh, Define danger is gone because Dave and Azari want to kill Doff right here. Um, Doff is quite oblivious <laughs> to the situation. I'm not trying to danger kill Danger to Ingve is all he was worried about, right? Or, you know, or, you know, Rakir or Azari. Dave, you're on your own with this one, man. <laughs> that, then you are safe. I'll pull Duff to the side and give him a, a talking to about better tactics and who's an enemy and who's not because it's, it's slipped Dave, you, Dave's you, gonna you, you of all people should know about slippage <laughs> Duff is sorry Duff, that was unintentional I like them. And you will bear them. He kicks them into the estuary. <laughs> it is custom to water bury people in the That's it. See, because yeah, that is our bah, custom. You know. Yeah. He's the only one that broke that hey, hey, because hey. of his mom. Oh, it's- <laughs> <laughs> Doff then proceeds to start kicking the bodies of the dead Bavarians into the waterway. Uh, Azar will pull his arrow out from Doff, oh. <laughs> and then he'll he'll go check the lizard bodies. That is the fragile area. <laughs> that is where my wine goes. Uh, uh, the bodies of uh, Rakir has already started to search the bodies. No coins. Uh, they do have uh, kind of baubles, trinkets, if you will, shell necklaces uh, that could improve your uh, general uh, standing with others. Because that's what Rakir wants. Do any of them <clears throat> look valuable of any appreciable artistry or shapes or I mean, stones, gems, uh, you know, smooth, shiny things. Not, oh, nothing shells. Like that. Shells on uh, sinewy thongs. Okay. The, the biggest and gaudiest one I'll take. Okay. Just, just the biggest one. Sure. Makes me look most important. And I'll wear it. I'm going to wear it as a trophy. Sure. Azari, uh, you also find the same thing as you search the bodies. How long has this taken us to search the bodies? A minute or two. Uh, Meanwhile, all you hear is go (laughs) go with Ibum. (laughs) Go with Ibum. (laughs) Yeah, you also probably hear Dave going, Oma, they killed Geb. Who's going to take care of Geb's cows? (laughs) Uh, The the rest of the, the 
<laughs> bar people come up. Oh, thank you, thank you. I thought you were a giant cat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kind of looks oddly. Like, I am a giant <laughs> cat. <laughs> uh, they thank you, uh, and they point out to to Rakir. Uh, the rest of our people have gone into the tar pits. You must help them. Where are the tar pits? Over this flat stone. Be able to smell them. It is called a bridge. I do not know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm. You I should all go home. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> you should all very go home bad when Dave's smartest can. one. Ingve uh, calls a healing spirit, so for the next couple of minutes, uh, it'll hang around and he'll uh, oh. two hit points. <laughs> two hit points. Uh, uh, yeah, every what would be a round. So. Two rounds. I'm done. Okay. All right. Well, I, yeah. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna. gonna four rounds. Uh, I'll hang around long enough to get the benefit of the healing spirit, and then I'm gonna ask. You know. Okay, the, the tar pits. Are these tar pits visible? Can we see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bridge itself is kind of, it, it's not a high one, but it's just yeah. kind of uh, perched over. And you can see what is best described as mud pits, tar pits, uh, bubbling, uh, crude je Jethro clampets in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, there's steam coming out of different vents. Uh, and that could lead to the smell of decay. Okay, but, so like a peat bog, but, okay. Yeah, yeah, but you also notice thick ruts in this. All right, so, so, the, so the thick ruts are going through it. I mean, it, it, it looks transitable. I mean, you, you could go through it and, or is it, are you going to get stuck in it? I mean, th that's what I'm trying to understand. If I have to roll for something and I roll. Now, Cousin Uma and the others will tell you, A, you notice these are all elderly folks. Um, some of them know Doff, some of them know Azari, some of them know Ingve. I, I mean, these are your friends and neighbors that you right. grew up with. Th these are the elders. They point out same story that you guys have found out. The wine merchants weren't wine merchants. They got captured. Uh, they took a lot of the warriors and a lot of the young and put them into the wagons, which were disguised as prison wagons, uh, and they have set across uh, these mud pits. There are two such wagons. Uh, they bobbed and weaved. There was an incident on, they don't know what it was because it was up near the lead. Uh, and these brigands decided to cut their losses because we were too slow and slowing them down. So they have left us to our own devices. Fortunately, we wandered through, we lost a few people. Uh, and when we got to this, this rock thing, what Azari calls a bridge, what Dave calls maze, uh, and then we got attacked by these lizard creatures. Okay. Okay. I bum. <laughs> that was a fat one. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, um, I, I I think we should, we should continue. I'm I'm worried about whether or not the older and infirm, if they can make it back to the village. Uh, how, that's what two days back through the village, or should we escort? I don't think we should escort them back. Maybe Dolph Dolph feels that he should escort them. If you can refrain from actually <laughs> killing any of them, you are yeah. welcome to Dolph. Dolph, he's going to try to take. He's going to try to take credit. He's going to try to take credit. He, I, he's going to try to put himself as the rescuer. I and, could and care the less. These people need help. We will all have to go, or just he can go. Ingve, what is credit? Um, I agree, Azari. But... Remember, yeah, Dave. Remember, card. <laughs> yeah, remember when you uh, remember when you helped your family with the cows when your uh, when he was sick. Yes. No one's there to take care of the cows. Yes, yeah. that was it. So that when you it. took care of the cows, that would be credit. Yes, it helped. Fifty-nine. <laughs> 
It is so, helping and them knowing it is you, Dave. <laughs> that is credit. Everybody <laughs> always know what Dave do. Dave say so. Yep. It, Acknowledgement, I think, is the the word. I don't think he knows. Village what that elders is. survive. Yeah, I, I, I was fifteen I was, of the village elders. Okay, grasping. So twenty five percent, Rick, mostly do in part from Duff. But they will go with Duff. Duff back to Ba. We must yes. hunt the rest. Yes, that, that's what Duff wants to do. Go well, we should. Be safe. Yeah, and yeah. I'm gonna turn and start making my way. Come on, old people. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you guys will have about an hour before it gets really dark in the tar pits. Uma, you're welcome to kill Doff if he screws up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. Doff is uh, I'll give Uma Grammy my, clamp it. <laughs> I'll give Uma my spear before we depart from one another. Fair enough. Walking stick. Uh uh-huh. As you guys reach the far side, uh, you notice clear and abundant tracks of all these old farts moving around. You also see in deep ruts uh, from a wagon, and you can tell that thing is not moving very fast because uh, it goes probably up to the axle, if not higher. Uh, the mud is also going to cause you guys uh, some problems as it is going to be uh, unfriendly terrain. Every once in a while, a steam vent will open up, sending scalding uh, air and water out of it. Uh, The ruts are easy to follow. Almost too easy. Well, that is never good. (laughs) So you guys want to delve in? The, the yes. only thing I would I would like to do is uh, it, maybe one of the elders, the 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 one who I think is probably the most, you know, maybe I would have worked a little bit with them, you know, because I'm such a little little hanger on suck ass back there in Bob. Maybe I'll know him. I'm going to whisper to him and say, "You need to worry a little bit about Doff. He was bitten by something, and we don't really know if he's going to stay." like the Doff we all know, or he may turn into something bad. And it's possible that the reason that he killed that one person, that other, uh, other elder, <laughs> yeah, was because some evil curse is about to take him over. So if I were you, I would keep a real, real close <coughs> eye on him. And if he starts to act out, you're, you're going to have to act first and kill him. Uh, the elder... Looks at Dolph, looks at you, looks at Dolph, looks at you. And it, in the best Ba dialect that I can come up with, says, are you fucking kidding me? I can't beat that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's a trained warrior. He'll have me for breakfast. Maybe you should come along with me if I'm going to die. <laughs> So, so you managed to calm their fear. Oh, well, this guy's a vampire. <laughs> that way to yes. go there. <laughs> yes, yes, he might be. He might kill you all. <laughs> Good luck. We're all counting on you. Dump might kill you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's I'm, go. I'm I'm like 50 feet away. I'm already <laughs> heading up. He's already the there. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm ranging at this point. Full <laughs> on ranging. I, I've, I'm tied a rope. Checking. I've tied a rope uh, <laughs> to Rakira's belt so that when I get 50 feet away from him, I just start dragging him. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And that, that's, all, that's all I wanted to say. Always a little too smart for his own good. Yeah, very very calming. Good pep talk mm-hmm. there, Newt Rockney. <laughs> <laughs> Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you all want to die? Well, go that way. <laughs> go back home with the yeah. We'll probably the eat you all the way. Victim. Might just kill you all. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Congratulations. Go with Ivan. With, with the white hair, all I hear is. 
good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, I do not have putrid sewers, but this place smells like putrid sewers from Adventure Sense. Uh, Azari, you have gone in first. D20. Yep. 17. Who goes in after Azari? Uh, Dave, oh, roll D20. Dave. <clears throat> Four. Uh, a steam vent opens up very close to you. Not close enough to scald you, but enough to make you shit your pants. So, Ingve, uh, Rakira is being dragged along. So, Ingve, you can go in next. Give me a D20. Mm, 18. I rolled. Not even close. Okay. Uh, and Rakir, D20. <clears throat> Oh! <laughs> Steam fills your uh -oh. shorts and gives you seven hit points of burn oh. damage. Oof. Yeah, and you thought Dolph was going to kill you. How are you See, looking? Because, <laughs> because Dave attached a rope to you, he just continued past the steam vent and, <laughs> and cooked you. <laughs> Dave, the rope snaps <laughs> as Darn. the steam burns the rope off. Uh, hour number one is complete. The sun has dipped down to the horizon. It's 44 feet of rope. <laughs> gets very dark. Uh, and the steam vents that you can see put a haze over the landscape. Picking out a campsite probably should be done by the ranger and it's going to require a survival roll. Yeah, will do. Okay. Hey, do me a favor. Don't say it out loud. Send it to me in chat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <no. clears throat> this is my favorite part. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got to do this. Uh -huh. Okay. <clears throat> Azari has scouted out the area, made the suggestion that you guys camp, feels that this area is most likely safe because there's a steam vent there, and a steam vent over there, and a steam vent over there. So triangulating the position, mm -hmm. he believes this is safe, unless you guys want to continue on and take a level of exhaustion. I think I think you we know, should rest. I, I, yeah. I think we should rest. And I could use one of these little healing the spirits if you have their infect. I'll, I'll, I'll cast another healing spirit. So. Uh, Fire Marshal Bill needs some healing spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. That was, that was quite toasty. <laughs> Who wants to D12 against me to see how it goes tonight? Time to have your pants cleaned when you're not wearing them. <laughs> yeah, Jesse. That's not on the. Oh no! <laughs> uh, do I only you need guys, four hours. Do you guys set up a watch? Yeah, we should. Do yeah. Each one of you take a watch. Yeah, what is a watch? Uh, uh, watch guard. Guard duty. Yeah, I'm I'll take third think. watch. Nice show. Who takes first watch? Um, I can since I set up the camp all. Oh. Second, second watch. Engve. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'll I'll do third watch. That's fine. I'll do third. I'll okay. Third. Watch because Dave Dave took third. Okay, so I'll you, do fourth watch. Uh, Ingve, there's something moving out there. You can hear it. Give me a wisdom check. Wisdom? Okay. <clears throat> uh, 23. It's big. <laughs> you can just tell it, it must be a quadruped. <clears throat> Um, 
I know that Azari has night vision, so I'm going to reach out to Azari. Oh, hey, so much for that rest. (laughs) Yeah, sorry, something's coming. All right, I will, uh, I'll start looking out in the dark to see if I can. And I'll point point in the direction where I heard it coming from. Uh, Give me a survival roll there, Ingve. See if you got it right. Uh, 18. Azari, he points at some somewhere. Okay. Right there. Uh, give me a uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, twenty five. It's big. Uh, it's a quadruped. Uh, and its ass is pointed at you, so it's walking away. It's about mm, sixty feet out. Okay. And every once in a while you see this is what you see, but every once in a while you see like yeah. a tail flicking, possibly a tail. Go ahead. I'll, I'll uh <clears throat> just back up to I'll tell you Bay, it's like I think we'll be all right. This creature as seems as, to be walking away. I agree if we're quiet. You know. If we do not disturb it, it will not disturb us. Sure. Hopefully. Thanks for waking me, asshole. <laughs> Fortunately, it's only uh, second guard shift, so you will yeah. be okay. Unless I'm you roll a me. one on a d20. If you Who's roll rolling? one on it, uh, Azari. Okay. Ew. No, that's a five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take out. Uh, the, the rest of the night is kind of... Uh, one eye open, hoping that you are correct. Uh, What's that? Dave, <laughs> Dave uh, Ingve wakes you up. He says, I'm pretty sure I heard something. Uh, Azari said it was walking away. It was kind of in this area. Yeah. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. That's Rock here. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> section three passes uneventfully every once in a while. Uh, but Azari seems to have chosen correctly. Uh, four, Rock here. Uh, uh, Dave tells you uh, that there were 14 creatures circling around this place. He's tired, uh, has to go to bed. Be careful. It might be dolphin raiders or something and blah, 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 blah. Chinese telephones. You aren't really sure what to expect. Uh, and every once in a while, you just have the spasm is uh the steam keeps going off i but, clinch a little bit <laughs> no, i was about to say <laughs> that butt puckers up it's a watertight asshole right now. Uh, no but, chugging in there no no butt chugging there <laughs> nice. yeah that's it you're gonna have to do it the long way uh the sun starts to creep up uh and you get a good lay of the land and you discover it is abysmal. Uh, there's just jets everywhere and this place is just a shithole. You guys have no idea. Dave, you came from the east. Uh, you did not pass by this way, so you have no idea what's in the tar pits. Uh, Rock here, you can go ahead and wake everybody up and uh, use it by just putting the tip of your quarter staff up against the carotid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll go ahead and wake everyone up um, and, um, you know, start cooking, uh, I guess, try to, to try to make breakfast. Well, it's real easy. You just put it on a stick and wait and for just that. Hold it over the steam. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's a good point. <laughs> well, 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 Dave's waiting for breakfast to cook. He's going to get some mud and paint a skull on his face. Dave's going hunting. Nice. I'm going to try to coordinate the, the 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 shells I got into maybe you know like some like something a little bit more decorative. Okay. Um, I don't know. Give me a charisma roll just to check, see how your interior or decorating skills are. Um, that's going to be a dirty seventeen. You think it's pretty nice? Okay. I'm trying to wear, I, I was wearing it here and I'm going to wear it like around my waist, you know, kind of like a belt or a sash or something like that. Sure. 
That that should help your stealth improve nicely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so plink, 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 plink. Ingve's making breakfast. Rakir is working on a hobby. Dave is body painting. Uh, time to keep an eye on Dave now. Azari, what are you doing? I'm going to okay. try and uh, find the trail. Like, see You do can... find the trail. I was okay. wondering if anybody had oh, checked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Paw, paw or hoof. Uh, it has no toes that you okay. can tell. Uh, about yay big around. Two, two. Uh, it kind of serpentines around the general area. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, 17. You notice uh, as the pts, 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 whatever this creature is, it must know where the steam vents are because it serpentined around them. Okay. Uh, and it heads east. Uh, but do I s- go ahead. Oh, do I see any of uh, the uh, trail of the, uh, the cart or anything like that? Yeah, That's one it's of the, still okay. there. Okay. All right. But I'll head. there's a, there's a just a constant haze over the uh, La Brea tar pits here, uh, just due to the steam. Uh, and it looks like whatever it is didn't follow the tracks of the wagon. It kind of veered off to the ten o'clock position. If the okay. wagon's going noon. Okay. Hmm. Good we must follow the wagons. Yeah. Yes, we should follow the wagons, but the trail that the creature left keeps us away from the steam vents. Uh, Maybe if we follow the creature's trail for a little bit, but keep our positioning towards the proper area, we should be able to circumvent the steam. Yeah. Is there any way we can get some some elevation to see if the if the wagon tracks deviate anywhere in the future? Plus, the steam haze is hard to see. The, the well. steam haze is going to prevent that. Yeah, I was about to say I could summon somebody, but I, I doubt they'd be able to see through from the air. Let's not use those quite yet. Let's keep ourselves yeah. pretty pretty stealth. I vote for not having my ass burned again. Then make sure you. I voted. <laughs> <laughs> Motion does not pass. Dave, vote for vengeance. All right, let's go. Yeah. Uh, You guys head out about uh, noon, lunchtime, uh, because your stomachs are growling. Uh, You notice that the ruts continue. However, there are two deviations. One set of wagon tracks continue to go straight. Uh, There are tracks crisscrossing, and then another set of wagon tracks goes to the east slash south because you guys are traveling east so i'm sorry yeah so it's going to be south Hmm. so the wagons have deviated does one seem heavier than the other uh that is a good question give me an investigation check Uh, that's a 10 you can't really tell because uh, the muck is just so <clears throat> so hard to move through. We have a choice. Do we follow the southeast or do we continue on our fell southeast or the other cart path? That's a tough, tough choice to make. I was about to say... Tough. If our party was a little larger and you know but we got rid of the the dummy that Split, would uh, try to... party Split, <laughs> i was about to party. say we could have cut the dead weight and sent him to go look Don, Don, you go follow this way yeah yeah let's everybody roll perception check please uh 22 nice yeah, 22 uh, as well 19 uh, plus 7 26 uh 15 Everybody but Ingve notices a distortion in the mud pits slightly ahead, kind of like there's a stick uh, raising out of it. This is just beyond where the divergence occurred. A stick. Looks like a branch of some kind. A 
stick in the mud. <laughs> stick in the mud. Mm-hmm. Why must you put things in the way that have no bearing on anything? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. It's just sticking in the mud. Um, you want to go east, investigate? Go southeast. You, you, you can go east, wagon tracks. Southeast, wagon tracks. Stick in the mud, giant tracks. See, options. D- options. Good DMs give <laughs> options out. Giant tracks and stick in the mud are coincidal? Yes. Mm. Hmm. I want to go look at the stick in the mud. I, okay. I would. I would say I'd like to look at the stick in the mud. I knew somebody was going to. I, somebody D- was going to go for it. Yeah. D20, yeah. let's see if I get to scald you again. <laughs> Four? <laughs> Just as you reach the stick in the mud, pss- the steam vent opens up and you can tell that the stick is a bone now that the flesh has been seared off of it. Ooh. Okay. So just a... <clears throat> Guess you don't have to worry about waxing for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll say... Wasn't anything important, guys. Just a... Just a bone just a bone it's still bone. attached and it's a humanoid arm uh well it's skeletal skeletal leave it, it we it's head like southeast the, the arm was sticking out and the vent went straight up like that yeah i, I i'm with the southeast I'm with his sorry, arm. south southeast yeah southeast okay, i'll mm-hmm. i'll i'll give a good pull on the bone and see if there's uh Rakir, how many times are you going to play with dead things? D- D12 against me, Rakir. Okay. This will end well. <laughs> oh, That's okay, a 12. Oh, nice. uh, the body comes up, and it is the body of Sibo, who was on the hunt with you. Oh, no. Wow. Oh, poor Sibo. is dead. Poor Sibo. I check his pockets for change. Sebo's <laughs> a she. Uh, she does not have anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I didn't yeah. think so. Uh, I, I, it, it, if how, can only, rec- how, how can we recognize it was her? Is that her body was was oh, in the mud? Only the, the only the arm was scalded off. Only the arm was scalded off. Gotcha, gotcha. And, okay. and if Ingve had a speech impediment, it could have been placebo. <laughs> <laughs> placebo. <laughs> Uh, right. Yes. Uh, as you pull her out, you recognize the hair and the I face. recognize everything. Okay. Yeah. I'll. I'll. Um, let how long do you? Face. How long do you want to hang out here? No. 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 <laughs> I'll. 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 I'll leave after I find out who it was and what it is, and then I'll uh, go back and join Aziri, and I'll and I'll tell him what I found. Okay. Uh, Aziri, Ingve, you guys went southeast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dave. Southeast. Um, So you guys all scamper more towards southeast. Uh, The tracks, similar in nature uh, to depth. Uh, This area is not any better. Everybody roll a d20. 18. 19. Uh, 17. Uh, No steam vents in this area, which is nice. Up ahead, uh, you hear screaming, familiar screaming, and in the misty area, you see some kind of squarish object tipping to one side. Oh. So we've got misty area, right? Mm-hmm. So I want to try and stealthily move up to that object. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> difficult terrain. Uh, as close as possible. Uh, as you guys all get closer, these are people from Ba. You can hear them. Uh, you can hear a rattling uh, as if the cage is being shook. Uh, What's shaking the cage? Uh, as you get closer, Tech Tech and several other members of the hunt are trying to get out. The wagon, the prison wagon, is stuck in mud and slowly sinking. Uh, they see you and scream for your assistance. Sprint up. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, at least try to run, get up there as fast as we can. 
Yeah. Everybody roll decks. Because you're in sinkhole heaven. 18. Oh, plus uh, 2. Nice. 20. 18. 21. That's just a 10 for me, a dirty 10. Yeah. Uh, for for Ingve, it is 17. So. Uh, Rakir, uh, using your monk like technology, you don't rush forward. Uh, and you are trying to make sure that your six is covered. The other three do manage to get up there. Uh, the ground is really unstable. Tech Tech is yelling. Uh, they've locked us in here. You got to save us. And more than half of the wagon is sinking. Uh, everybody give me perception check, including Rakir. 25. Uh, 24. 23. I think that's going to be a 15 for me. All yeah, four 15. of you notice uh, the once alcohol wagon uh, now has metal bars crisscrossed on it. Uh, and you all see essentially a primitive lock on this back gate where Tech Tech and the others are struggling. Uh, it looks like you're going to have to bludgeon, not pierce. Uh, yes. But bludgeon it. Who wants to give it a shot? Now, Dave, have great club. <clears throat> Dave, give me an intelligence. Uh, everybody, give me an intelligence check. Okay. Uh, 17 minus 2, 15. Uh, 14 for Ingve. 14 for Azari. <laughs> oh, all, all, all four of you say, yeah, fucking knock that thing off. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All over you are like, yep, let's knock this lock off. We'll be fine. Is there any parts of the, is it all like metal around or is there any parts that are like wood? Any the, ba the base is wood. Uh, okay. The sides are metal and there's a uh, tattered, uh, not leather, but hide canopy uh, over it. Uh, there are no uh, mounts, no animals, no bad guys, nothing like that. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. Can we get is the canopy can we reach like the canopy or can we if is it is it tilting or is it just like sinking almost straight down? Too the much thinking for Dave. Baseball time. The wagon should be like this. Uh -huh. It is more like this, and that is the mud line. Okay. So while Dave's doing that portion, I'm gonna try and cut open the canopy to see if I can maybe are you going to climb up onto it to cut the canopy? Um, I'm going to try to go from the side without climbing onto it because I don't want to put more weight to get it to drop down. Even that's what I was going to say. That's what he was going on. for. <laughs> no, I'm going to try and go from the side and try and cut the canopy while Dave's breaking the other portion. Dave, batter up. 23. Oh, Dead. yeah. You crushed that thing. And the entire wagon. <laughs> Like, that's also a little afraid. Poor murder hobo dice gave me um, what would be that? Uh, 11 plus 15 points of bludgeoning damage to the lock. The lock shatters and falls off, but it appears as though you were assisting in its decline. Good news for Azari, though, because now the rooftop is right at your face. It should cause you no problems to cut that canopy off. As yeah, you I'll do start so, cutting. Uh, metal across the top as well. Uh, Damn it. Dave... Percentage roll for me, please. Oh, oh that's no. those big numbers. Watch out, Dave. Hopefully, he has better luck than uh, Ooh, 69. <laughs> A steam vent opens up uh, and just explodes. You hear the death screams of several warriors as you have pushed the wagon down in. Azari, your horrified face catches one person's face just melting off. Several victims uh, have succumbed to suffocation as well as steam. Uh, but Dave has successfully knocked the lock right off. Uh, who wants to throw open the gate and have the survivors scamper out? I... I I, I'm going to try to, I, I have a rope. I'm going to tie the rope around the, uh, <laughs> the, um, some of the bars and at least try to stabilize a little bit so it doesn't keep going down. 
Sure. You weigh uh, what? <laughs> buck 25 <laughs> maybe a buck 25 maybe yeah sure i mean okay. if there's i mean i, I got it maybe it'll at least slow the descent a little bit wow. i've got this guys <laughs> yeah azari is also going to get underneath and i know he may get pushed under a little bit but he'll take the chance and try and like hold it up to keep it from continuing to push oh. through he'll brace himself and yeah uh, while I'm people not... are getting out yeah strength, strength check assist. Okay, strength check, Rakir, Azari, and Ingve dex checks. Not saves, checks. Dex or strength for me? Dex for you and Ingve because Rakir is getting dragged under. <laughs> oh, God. I'm trying my best, guys, but I'm just, you know. Oh, man. 14. Nice. 18 plus 21. Uh, Azari and Ingve, you are trying to study it out. Um, uh, no one's opened the gate, Dave. <laughs> you want to try to open it, please? I'll, I'll open the gate and pull on the gate and wagon as I open it, try and pull it back. D12 That's against me. I'm Dave, I think I'm stronger than everything in the universe. Nat 20. Dave! Five. Uh, Tech Tech and two others scamper out. Uh, Azari, Ingve. You don't see any other survivors trying to claw their way out of the mud. The rate of deceleration or uh, de-escalation is increasing, and you can look over and see Rakir. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. (laughs) (laughs) All right. I, I, I let go of the rope. Can you tie yourself off to it? No, no, I didn't tie myself. Oh, oh, damn it. It. <laughs> you guys are going to have zero fucking rope by the time this is over. Exactly. Uh, you let go of the rope uh, just as Zari and Ingve step off and the wagon well. disappears. Tech Tech uh, and two others that you know uh, are extremely happy. They appear to be miners. Uh, but beefy miners, big size miners. Oh, thank you very much. I, I think we all would have died had it not been for your help. Thanks for pushing it in there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they, they are they are grateful because you have saved their life. Uh, they ask if you have found Sibo. She didn't make it. She perished in the storm. <sighs> That's too bad. She escaped. She was on the rope line. Have you found any others? Uh, no. In Los Angeles currently. <laughs> the, that must mean... Oh, shit. No, they're in Vegas. <laughs> that must mean the rest of us have went directly to the east. We, all we know is the two wagons split as some gigantic freaking creature came out and started stomping the shit out of people. It's good for us. Hell, it even killed the oxen that were hauling this wagon around. Make your way home. We'll head to the other path and find them. I'll hand them my short swords. I'll give up my short swords for them. Which, both which of them way so is can... home? You take a All left at Albuquerque. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they'll be able to follow the tracks. Are you guys going to follow the tracks to the Divergence? Because you guys traveled an hour. Yeah, yeah we'll go back to the Divergence yeah. And, yeah. Okay. and then shoot back the other direction. Hey, everybody give me a dex check. <laughs> yeah, 17. Going well. 18 uh, plus dex is 21. 30, 21. 16. Ditto. Uh, 21. Those three. Sorry, 17. Ooh, seven. Uh, what a almost gets scalded, but they're okay. Uh, after another hour of traveling through this bog-like environment, uh, you make it back to the crossroads. There is Sibo. Uh... <laughs> um, I'll tell them before they go, when they go back through, because they're going to have to go through the swamp again, that there's going to be these large footprints um, of the creature, and I'll tell them to follow those back out um don't like follow the pathway of the ruts but at the same time look for the large creature's footsteps that way you'll be able to keep yourself from getting burned by the so don't follow the the ruts 
Think about <laughs> themselves. Follow the follow the ruts and the creatures' footprints parallel to each other. So as long as they're going in the same path. Got it. <laughs> uh, Rock here. Rock here. Try would not you like to die. To, would you like to give an inspirational speech? <laughs> You're muted. Damn it! That was a, that was the good part of the speech. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna see now. Don't worry. You got this. Don't worry. Okay. Whenever you hear, like, as Rakir starts this, I'm gonna start uh, heading off the other direction. <laughs> I'm with Azari. When when you hear a hissing sound, try to like get down really, really, really low, and pray. Good luck. <laughs> Rakir will catch up, Azari. He's got that monk foot thing. Uh, Rakir, you notice that your three amigos have already taken off traveling along. Uh, good news is, after two hours of traveling, you haven't seen those giant moccasin prints, uh, and you're still on the trail of the wagon. You also notice the ground is getting somewhat firmer, the ruts aren't as deep, and the steam vents are not as frequent. Give me a survival check, Azari, because you're the ranger. Seventeen. Uh, you notice that you have turned into a northeasterly direction, okay. as the sun faintly can be seen above in the sky, even though it's still quite misty. Uh, and uh, it's the smell of decay again. Mm. About an hour into this, uh, the ground is much firmer. The steam vents have been non-existent. There are no giant footprints, uh, and there are some pieces of sparse vegetation present, uh, making their way. Uh, it appears to be a uh, long grass similar to what you might find along a waterway. Swamp land. Okay. Uh, an hour into that uh, puts you right about dusk and you guys uh, are still following faint tracks. Uh, the sun is dim in the sky and you finally exit the hostile environment only to find yourselves in a murky swamp-like environment. Bullfrogs call to one another and the sky begins to clear up and you notice that it is getting dark. There are no signs of tracks and the day has come to an end. Uh, exhaustion is starting to take over and it looks like you will have to pick a camp. Azari, uh, you picked it last time. Do you want to pick it again? Sure. Survival again? Yep. Okay. Uh, 16 the same. Oh, uh, yeah, you're, you know, yeah, you, uh, for as best as it can be, yeah. uh, you're still going to get wet. Uh, if you can, I would recommend using any trees. Uh, to make yourself a hammock. Just so happens I have a hammock. Have it. <laughs> it would be good Just to so use your happens. bed rolls, your bed rolls, and if you have any rope to create a hammock, so that way you're not on the ground. It's a banana hammock that he has. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, Frank said, "Take whatever we needed from Ba," and Dave took a great a club and a hammock. That's wow. smart. No, it's a ham hawk. This is something completely hammer. different. Yeah. <laughs> no, no Dave it's like a ham work. hawk. <laughs> uh, are you going to do another rotation again? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Who is first watch? Um, who's the most exhausted? Because they should go first so they can sleep the rest of the night. Uh, probably uh, Fire Marshal Bill. Fire Marshal Bill. <laughs> probably, yeah. Yeah. 
It would probably be uh, better for those of us with dark vision or who can see in the dark better to stay during the latest parts of the watch. Night. Yep, that's true. For those who do sure. not, early in the morning or first thing before dark or early in the morning. Zarya and I should easier. split second and third watch. Yeah, Ingve and um, um, Rick here. Rick here are the only ones without night vision, unless I wild shape and I can only hold that for so long. So. 24 hours. I just got the PM. <laughs> uh, okay, so who's taking one and four? Um, Ingve and Rock here. Yeah, humans. Yeah, Speak up. humans will, will take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who, who wants one? Rick here. Okay, yeah. so you got four. Uh, Dave and Azari, who wants two and who wants three? Dave, take two. Fair enough. Uh, Rock here, good news. Uh, as you continue to check your face, check your face. Uh, it's mostly healed by this time. Uh, and in the waning light, uh, the damn uh, Bud, Why, Zer, Bullfrogs are pretty loud, but uh, they don't seem to be encroaching on your encampment. Uh, good. Dave. <laughs> If he's low any hit points since he's coming off of his watch, I'll heal him. So. You're asleep. Oh, I am asleep. Yeah. That's true. Okay. So unless, unless you're going to... Uh, Don't forget well, one, one When we cross a, over, when he wakes me up to take the shift, I'll heal him. You're four. He's one. Yeah. Dave, four? Dave and Azari are... Uh, oh, okay. So, gotcha. so hit, you'll get your long rest in, Rick, here. Maybe. Yeah. That's hard to say at this point in time. Dave, good news. Uh, Rock here says, good luck, my friend. Uh, if you can kill any of those damn bullfrogs, that'd be great. Uh, Dave, good news uh, on your shift. Uh, the bullfrogs go silent, uh, but so does the moon as clouds fill the sky. D12 against me. Five. L 11. It oh. begins to rain. <laughs> Dave. Dave likes the rain. Dave is uh, singing in the rain and wakes Shampooing. up. Azari for watch three shortly after midnight. Uh, Azari, D12 against me. Let's see if it's still raining. My hammock's now a bathhouse. Five. Uh -huh. Five. Uh, it's misty. Uh, the rain has stopped, but it's still misty. Uh, you crawl out of your wet hammock. Uh, give me a perception check. 24. There's something moving around out there. I'll try and I'll go uh, see if I can maybe pierce it out a little better. Uh, D20 against me. Eight. Ten. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're tracking, uh, you're tracking one creature, uh, smaller, bulbous head, bipedal, uh, okay. but, but it is darting in and out of the undergrowth. It's I'll Smeagol. Use, I'll grab a little bit of, uh, like, uh, jerky and bread from my pack and try and do some animal handling to see if I can, if it'll mainly to let it know or trying to be friendly and not uh, combative with it. Sure. Uh, D20 against me again. Four. Eleven. With your dark vision, you can tell that uh, the creature can most likely smell it. Uh, you still can't make out its features. You just know that the head is unusually large, uh, mm -hmm. especially compared to the frail uh yeah. body size uh but it is not going to approach i will uh kind of toss the food out in its direction hit it okay <laughs> that's a two <laughs> nice throw thanks i just kind of chuck it like an inch in front of me yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you watch uh it's always sunny in philadelphia yeah I throw like a man. <laughs> <laughs> so Azari. <laughs> uh, whatever the creature is. 
Nice, nice throw there, uh, Tex. Uh, the creature's still out there. It's about 60 feet out. Um, not doing much of anything. I'll just keep my watch and track it. While <laughs> uh, D20 against me. Oh, not 20. That was a, that was a two. Um, it's on the move. It looks to be trying to come around on the blind side. Okay. Uh, I'll just, I'll continue to let it, uh, follow along. If it makes any bad moves, I'll put it out. You hear a noise on the opposite side. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything. You still see that one. Clever girl. There, there's Clever the noise girl. again. Yeah. <laughs> Could be Dave Farty. You aren't really yeah. sure. I'll uh, I'll kind of just keep watch. Uh, I'll start looking at the other thing that's uh on the backside of us. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid uh, gopher. Okay. <laughs> vampires. 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 <laughs> uh, the creature on the left, because I assume you're kind of doing this. Yeah. Uh, is moving in. Okay. Towards um, you. Okay. I will uh, chuck some bread and jerky at this one. Like, Well, now this this is the original one. Oh, there's the original one. Okay, yep. so I will, um, I will turn to it and just uh, kind of calmly open my palm uh, with some food in it um, and drop it right in front of it, kind of like just letting it know that it's not. There's no need for violence. Three, um, a blue giant frog creature. Mm -hmm. uh, emerges, go ahead and use uh, whatever you want to use for diplomacy. I guess animal handling, I guess. It's, it's intelligent, but I'll give you animal handling. Yeah. That's oh, it's okay. Uh, let's see. Persuasion. 14? Okay. Or... Uh, no. Uh, it takes your movement as aggressive. Roll initiative. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh, two. Yeah. Uh, 16. Yep. Uh, as you notice, it gets angry. You hear something behind you as well. Okay. Uh, your move. Um, I will yell out. To everyone yep. uh actually i will look at it and uh i will do a uh let's see if this will work hopefully this works taking some of the uh roar, lessons from roar. my father i will do my uh intimidating roar um so i need a wisdom save dc 14 uh that's nine so that is not going to all right this yeah creature... that's not gonna work <laughs> Uh, this creature is frightened of me now. Oh, oh, hell yeah, it is. So, and I, as it is, I will draw my bow and I will stalk forward at it. You will what? Uh, start moving forward as uh, that was a bonus action to do that. And I will fire my bow, not at the creature, but like right in front of it. Sure. Um, actually, that's a... Don't roll too high. <laughs> <laughs> no that's a that's a nine okay uh yeah you you dump an arrow as it scampers off give me a perception check okay come on that's a nat 20 27 uh, something's coming up behind you and it's coming up quick a moment later it launches itself at you and falls at your feet with a four. Nice. <laughs> nice. You, you spin around and it is another blue frog-like creature. Cool. Uh, I will, I guess, dump an arrow in it. Now, did 
did you yell for everybody? Mm-hmm. I did an well, intimidating roar, roar, so everybody uh, would have heard me go. Rah! Well, let's see. Everybody roll okay. D twenty to make sure that you heard him. Uh, I have advantage or if, on that. Or if you guys sleep like fucking rocks <laughs> and don't hear a lion roar. Hear <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, Nineteen. You're like my wife. You would sleep through a tornado if it came through our house. <laughs> Muted, Rock here. Eleven. Uh, even Rock here. Uh, vampire! Vampire! What? What? <laughs> uh, awesome Az- vampire. Azar, are you pump an arrow into this thing? Yeah. Uh, you can hit an advantage because it's prone. Nat 20. <laughs> yeah, that fucker's dead. <laughs> Go ahead and roll <laughs> your damage, but holy shit. Uh, 14 points of piercing damage. Oh, yeah, it's dead. Right through the skull. Uh, everybody jumps up. Uh, you hear the twang of Azari's bow. Uh, and then you start to hear yeah, 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 screaming <laughs> all over the place. Azari has put an arrow through some kind of blue frog creature. Uh, and it sounds like you might be surrounded. Everybody oh, roll. Of a... and no. no. You can keep your 16, Azari. 15. Where's Coda when I need him? <laughs> 20 for Ingrid. Cut, fuck. Cut, 20. Fuck. Well, that's a nat 20, so it'll be 23. Uh, Rakir, you're up first. There are four more uh, coming out. Uh, Dave, yours is purple. Rock uh, yours is blue. Azari, yours is purple. And so is Ingve. Oh, so shit. Rock here has a blue, probably the blue that you scared off. The other three are purple. So Nat 20 goes first. Rock here, you're up. Okay. So what's my visibility like on these? I mean I don't have any night <laughs> vision or anything else like that. They're screaming. Uh, bloody murder. So you're going to fight at minus three. Everybody who doesn't have dark vision, minus three on the rolls because okay. they're okay. going to come up into your grill. Okay. Right. Well, I'm going to try to throw off a dark first if that's if, if that's sure. at all possible. Okay. Um, before they do. So this is <clears throat> that's that's a 10 plus 5 minus 3. So that's a 12. That hits. 12 is your magic number. No, so 1D... Four plus three. That's what that's four hit points of piercing damage. Gotcha. Uh dirty twenty. Uh Ingbe's gonna try to light up the one that's next closest to him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, that doesn't hit. Uh oh, Jungo roll a D4. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Two. Uh, you overshot and hit Rock here. Oh. Sorry, man. Fire! Fire back! <laughs> <laughs> I will take care of you. <laughs> yeah, you just did. Just how much, did. Yeah. How much damage? Poor oh, Rock here. man. Uh, let's see. God, that's going to be... That's going to hurt. Half, half it, though. Oh. Uh, three. Three points. That's Welcome hard. to Burning Man. Uh, 16, <laughs> Azari, you're up next. No, fire up mine. Uh, yikes. 15 to hit? Oh, yeah, easily. Okay. Six, nine points of piercing. It's hurt. Uh, Dave. Uh, Dave, having been startled awake, wearing only his loincloth and carrying Chattelbane, is recklessly attacking. Awesome. Uh, 15. That is. And uh, 14 points of slashing damage. That one's dead as well. Uh, the blue and the two Should purples that 12. leap at you. Uh, Rock here. We're adding four. Uh, 17 hit you. Rock here. Oh, he's. I think he's talking. He's, to he's engaged. Else. Yeah. Uh, Azari. Uh, no, that's a three. So seven 
And Ingve, woo, 18 plus 422. 22 uh, is it. Ingve and Rakir, you need to make uh, constitution saves. Uh, and what the hell's will, happening now? You got uh, hit. You got tackled. Oh. Uh, you each take two hit points of damage. <laughs> what else happens? Uh, 14 oh, constitution. And the grung come around. That's, that's a 10. Okay. How much damage again? Uh, two plus... Uh, four Ingve, six Rakir, Rakir. Uh, you think you're deaf and nobody can hear you, so you just start screaming. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, this, this new, is usual. new round, uh, not 20. Uh, Rakir. So I'm, I'm just screaming at this point, right? Yes. Uh, give me a con save. Let's see if you can snap out of it. This will be your turn. Um, 17. Woo! Okay. Dirty 20, Ingve. Uh, Ingve, okay. He is going to uh, make a scimitar strike, actually. Sure. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh, an 18 yep to hit okay that'll be a uh eight points of slashing damage okay uh 16 azari mm -hmm. 18 to hit yep and 10 points of piercing Right on. As it dies, just like Dave's died, it grung, grung. Uh, 15, Dave. Uh, Rakir has been burnt. Rakir has a creature on him. Uh, Rakir has stopped yelling, thank God. And Ingve has a creature on him. Oh, well, I'm going to hit Rakir's creature. What? Recklessly. Oh. <laughs> uh, 17 to hit. Uh, eight plus six is uh, 14. Uh, you lop off its head easily, spraying rock here with its blood. Uh, Stop that squishy! That leads to me and only Ingves is here. And it... <clears throat> Not 20, it's going to attack. Uh, but it's going to miss with a three, seven... Dirty 20, Rakir, you have stopped yelling. You are now covered in frog guts. A uh, quick look around shows that only Ingve, the guy who just set you on fire, has <laughs> All right. Um, I, do, do I have range to uh, 40 feet? I can probably get there and smack the smack mm -hmm. the, the, the beauty yeah, of being a monk. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's a 21 on the... Uh, on the thing, yeah. Now, what, now, were you going for Ingve or the creature? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, purple creature on him. Gotcha. I thought you said his was purple, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. you, you had the blue, everybody else. Or you Five had the, plus three is eight. Eight hit points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, you crush its skull. <laughs> it doesn't even have time to make that grung sound. <laughs> mm. Immediately, Ingve uh, uh Cast secure wounds on Rakir. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, two, um, two faces is looking better finally. Yeah, <laughs> uh, eight points healing of uh, healing. Oh, I needed all of that. And Everybody, make a con save to see if you uh, are going to be one level of exhaustion in the morning. Well, plus two. That is a fourteen for me. Oh, hey. Um, Did you have a 14 for Ingbe. 16. In the world. Azari? 21. And if you did, all, all four of you are going to be able to go back to bed, uh, except for Azari, who will finish out his shift before he wakes up Ingbe. Uh So, oh, yeah. uh, new day. Um, no, nobody exhausted. 
Can I check those? Today uh, was a good day. I didn't even have to raise those purple ones when they uh, attacked. I want to see if maybe if I take like a few of my arrows and like rub the arrow on the on the frog skin. Sure. Uh, D20 to make sure you don't accidentally touch yourself. <laughs> uh, Azar, you guys see Azari drop his bow and immediately start wallowing around like a pig trying to cover himself in mud. <laughs> That's what the purple ones do. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, go ahead and roll a con me. save again, Azari. <laughs> 21 again. Uh, it only lasts one round, but you are filthy. <laughs> <laughs> So did, did 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 these things have any pouches or were they just totally like animal naked? They have uh, bone daggers is what they were using. Bone daggers, but no no loincloths or pouches for I mean I'm searching the bodies for any more of these magical looking coin things. Constitution check, please. <laughs> Since you're touching them. <laughs> uh that's gonna be a thirteen. Uh, you're smart enough to not touch them with your bare skin, but no, they do not have anything other than four bone daggers. Looks like it was made out of a shoulder blade of something. Mm, yeah, that's very not primitive indeed. Yeah, yeah, that's not interesting. I'll I'll leave everything all that alone. Okay. Yeah. Morning dawns anew, and it's a good place to stop for the yep. night. Ingve uh, slash David, what'd you think? Oh, I thought it was fine. I mean, yeah, our misfortunes were very unfortunate, but it it still it was a lot of fun. It was that works. Fun. Uh, Azari slash Jesse, that was good. I was uh, I was wondering who we were going to run into uh, once mm-hmm. we started hitting people. Um, so now I'm wondering what's going on with this other slaver group, why they, why they sidetracked or why they, uh, I'm just, now I'm curious. So Azari's ready for more vengeance. Rock here slash Scott. I'm going to have to work on my motivational speeches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I love the uh, message that you sent me. Yeah. That's very touching. Uh, yes. It, yes. I, you, you could be, uh, Lou Holtz. <laughs> uh, and finally Dave slash Rob oh man I'm mad at Doff his treatment of our dead is just like mm, over the top his, his treatment of the dead is uh, in line Water oh no I'm in the one he killed himself um, right uh, show of hands who's rolled a one and hit one of the party members Nobody. None of us have ever done that. Uh, yeah. uh, Party members are a little different. Than yeah, but my character doesn't know that. Rando. Well, D- I, Dave has no idea. Doff I'm rolled the only one. one that rolled the one and hit somebody. Yeah. <laughs> to to right be down. fair, I mean, he couldn't really hit it. the dice. Give us and the dice take it away. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. The Calamity Campaign. Hope you enjoyed yourselves as much as we did. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, the link's down there. Don't forget, if you want some custom dice, Pirate Dog Dice at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And of course, if your game stinks, uh, unlike ours, uh, Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. And if you want to learn how to write much more gooder, uh, go ahead and pick up their shines. <laughs> so, so what'd you guys think oh, I, I, I liked it yeah, yeah. Uh, some of our roles sucked well yeah. did <laughs> so